have so many things I want to say, so many ideas I want to share. So for several years I've been playing with the thought of making a YouTube channel. Uh, and for the last few months I made lots and lots of draft videos, video ideas. Uh, however, one hurdle still remains and that is actually getting started and, and making the first video, putting it out there. Um, so last night I decided to write a to-do list with all the things I have to do in order to get started on YouTube. And uh, the list um, contains seven points and when I saw this written out on paper, uh, what I realized was that although these are all very valid points for making excellent videos in an efficient manner, at present at least six out of these seven points are just uh, bad excuses for why I'm not ready to start YouTube. So uh, that's what I will present now, these six points and the seventh very valid point. Uh, so let's dive right into it. So the first point is to get a camera. And of course, with all the marketing out there telling you this is the best, oh, but this is better and this doesn't have this one. Uh, it's so confusing and you end up always trying to find something better. Uh, so what I realized was that any camera is going to be do just fine. And this video here I'm doing on my phone and the quality is, is quite okay. So a camera, can come afterwards, but it's not at all a reason not to start making the first video. So the second point is to really learn to edit videos well. Uh, what I've done in the past is I've just imported all the media, I started editing without knowing how the, the, the program works, and then I've ended up having to troubleshoot problems in Google all the time. And it takes an incredible amount of time and it's extremely frustrating and it really, kind of destroys the experience. So what I will do in the future is to dedicate a few hours, do a course, learn all the basics to ensure that the video editing is going to go smooth. Um, and a third and related point is to go a bit beyond just the editing, but to establish a efficient workflow from start till end. So for all this to run as smoothly as possible, I think it's also important to yeah, to really cut down to the bone what you need in order to produce a video. Um, what I end up doing now is taking so much footage and then I never use it and the usable bits in there get lost in, in, in everything. So it's a very troublesome process and it means I never finish a, a video. Um, and then the fourth point is um, trying to work on my Brit British accent. Um, I love Harry Potter, I love Mr. Bean, so being able to make uh, YouTube videos with a British and not a Norwegian accent would be great. Uh, however, <laughs> however, this is quite a long project, so I think this is really something I will have to save for, for later and um, yeah. And then uh, the fifth and rather funny point is um, I would like to learn to write with my right hand. Now I'm a lefty and what this means is that when I write you will not see what I'm writing because my hand is coming from left to right covering up the words I'm writing. So in, over, in order to overcome this uh, my idea is to learn to write with my, uh, with my right hand uh, just for the, the visual effect. Uh, but also completely unnecessary in order to get started. And then the sixth point is to practice, practice and to practice. Um, I think all of these things, if I learn a bit more, if I improve, uh, that will certainly help. But this is very much about practicing and getting into the flow, getting the experience to do this in an efficient manner. Uh, and that leaves us at the sixth point, the only point that's really not an excuse for not starting, but that is extremely valid and relevant right now. And that is just to jump into it, to get started, to make the first video. And that's the video you're watching right now. Uh, I planned this yesterday, I filmed it today, and I decided, okay, quality doesn't matter. I'll do this with the tools and the abilities I have now, and this is the result. 
uh, in the future I will certainly work on these other points uh, and I hope that will improve the quality of the videos and I'll also try to include you in the process to give a few good tips and advice on how to how to learn editing in an efficient way or how to learn to write with the other hand um, but uh, so if you want to follow this process and follow hopefully the improvements in video quality and content uh, please subscribe and um, yeah thank you